Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. My name is Melissa and I'm here to lead you through chair yoga. We will practice together for 30 minutes today. Just a reminder to listen to your body. If any stretches are not working for you, please skip them, come on out and modify. For our class today, you'll just need your chair. So your chair at your desk will be perfect. If your chair has wheels, you may want to put them in a locked position. And today I was thinking that we could do a really nice full body stretch. So we'll definitely focus on those areas of common complaints, such as wrists and neck, shoulders, hips, legs, back. Try to hit all of those spots just to give a really nice full body stretch. The wonderful thing about this class is that all of the stretches that we're going to work with today, you can easily weave them into your workday. So if you're at the desk for a bit too long and you're feeling some fatigue in the wrist, maybe think back to this, some of the stretches that we're working with. Same thing, little tension in the neck, think back to some of these stretches as well. As we get started, let's come on to the edge of the seat. We'll just scooch forward just a little bit. And that will help to elongate the spine and to engage the core. Take a moment to close your eyes and begin to connect here to the rise and the fall of your breath. And as you're breathing, Maybe just doing a bit of a scan here of your body. Noticing where you're holding on to tension. And then with each exhale, trying to let that tension go. And then we'll take a moment here to work with a breath called the oval breath. So from the hips up, you'll imagine that you could draw this large oval. So it'll be moving around the front of the body and then moving down the back of the body. So the inhale will move you up the front body. And then the exhale will move you down the back body. And then we'll just breathe this breath for just a moment. So, as you inhale, let's breathe into the stomach, the ribs, the chest, and the throat, and the face. And then as you exhale, we're just going to loop around the top of the head and release from the back of the head, back of the neck, upper, mid, and low back. Breathe in. Let's float from our stomach. Ribs, chest, throat, face, and then releasing from the back of the head, back of the neck, upper, mid, and low back. Again, feel the breath flow up the front of the body, and then feel the breath flow down the back body. And then just take a moment here just to breathe this breath at your own pace. Simply watching the rise and the fall of the breath. Take a moment to set an intention. And that intention could be anything. It might be that you want to relax a little bit through the class. It could be that you're holding tension in a particular area and you want to release that. So there's really no right and no wrong intention. Let's take a moment to bring our hands at the heart space in prayer. Gently draw your chin to your chest. So we're going to do a bit of a rounding here in the back body. And then let your fingertips float forward and then we're opening up the hands and we'll create a bit of a back bend here. So we're gonna work with a seated cat and dog stretch. 
Let your palms come together, hands float at the heart space. Create that rounding of your back body. Heart floats forward, hands open up. And then we'll just flow here with the breath. Try to lengthen as you inhale. Lengthen as you exhale. Let's bring it into stillness here. We'll come to a neutral spine, hands reach up and overhead. Let's take our right hand and reach for our left wrist. Lengthen and hands to the right. And then almost imagine that you could pull that right hand to the left a little bit more. So just moving you a little bit deeper into a lateral stretch for the spine. And then bring yourself back to center. We'll realign here, change up the grip in the hands. Nice full breath, lengthen. Try to get nice and grounded in that right sitting bone. We don't want to be lifting up too much on this one. Let's come on back to center. We'll take our hands right on up to the sky. Reach and stretch up with your right hand. Create a little bit of a slack on that left side. So we'll reach and stretch up with the right. Come back to center, reach and stretch up with your left, back to center, and just go side to side here. So we want to lengthen on the in-breath and lengthen on the out-breath. Maybe each time trying to reach a little bit higher up. Come back to a neutral spine, hands gently relax down. Let's take our right shoulder and circle. So we're just gonna float that shoulder up to our ear, relax it down, breathe in, out. Let's go one more time here, nice inhale and exhale. Let's try the other side, left shoulder rises up and releases. Good, and then we'll alternate. So let's go right shoulder, we'll take it up, back and down, and then left shoulder, up, back and down. We'll go to the right and go to the left. Let's go one more time each side, right? And left, good. Relaxing your hands down. Let's try for some shoulder shrugs here. Take your shoulders to your ears and try to tense as much as you can. So we do wanna create a little bit of a tension and then try to relax your shoulders away from your ears. Shoulders up. And release. And let's go three more times here. Shoulders up, tense, 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 and let it go. Good. And together, both shoulders, let's take one nice big shoulder roll, shoulders up, back, and down. Great. Hands will reach and stretch to the sky. Let's take our gaze up and then gazing at the fingertips. We'll just let those index and thumb touch come together and then gently relax your hands down and then our gaze will float down the front body. Full breath in, reach up. Release. Let's go three times up, three times down. Hands to the sky, nice full breath in here. Let's take our hands at the heart space. Take a full breath to lengthen and twist to the right as you exhale. So we'll begin to hook our left elbow on the right knee and then encourage the prayer hands to the heart space. And breathe into your twist here. 
So on your in breath, feel your spine lengthen. On your out breath, allow for your twist to deepen. Come back to center. Let's take those hands right on up to the sky. Nice full breath here. Twisting to the left on exhale. And release, let's flip ourselves back to center. We'll realign here. Take your hands on up to the sky, inhale, and hands at the heart space as you exhale. Bringing your hands onto your low back, a little bit of a gentle support here. Begin to press your hips forward. We'll work for a little bit of a back bend here. So gently pressing your low back forward, maybe drop your head back. So this is a variation of a seated camel stretch. What you can also do is try to wrap your elbows back towards the center of your body. So not out to the sides, but kind of wrap them back, get yourself a little shoulder stretch here. And then just trying to press your low back forward as best as you can, head relaxes. You can also tuck your chin down a little bit too. Sometimes that makes it a little easier. And release, let's bring ourselves into a neutral spine. You can gently relax that one. Take your shoulders up, back, and down. Let's bring that right leg. We'll cross it up and over. And we're just going to do a nice crossed leg here. So variation of a seated Gomukhasana stretch, nice hip and leg stretch. So as you take a nice full breath here, we'll lengthen and come on down to a fold as you exhale. Hands can relax and you can also wrap your arms behind your back, your bottom leg there. And what you could do is you could try to relax your head, maybe look towards your navel. And sometimes we have a little bit of a compression here on the stomach, but it's really good for the organs, almost giving them a little massage and a little massage for the digestive system as well. And release, let's bring ourselves back on up. We'll take our right foot down and left leg comes up and over. So we'll find our nice crossed leg seated stretch. Full breath here to lengthen and bring it down to fold as you exhale. And maybe reach for those arms under the body. Now in this one, it's very easy to hold quite a bit of tension in your head and your neck. So. Just check in and see if there's any way to relax your neck. And sometimes we think that that head is relaxed, but it's not, so just check in. And release, we'll hold on to the chair, legs can come out in front and we'll just give them a bit of a shake on out. Let's take a little bit of time to work with our legs and core. So what we'll do on this one is you'll be trying to scoot towards the edge of your seat and we're going to begin to kick the leg out. So most common thing is when we do that, we're gonna start to lean back. So imagine you could see yourself from the side and try to have your shoulders stacked right over your hips. Start with our right leg. So we're just gonna give it a nice little kick out in front. Good, we're gonna relax the foot down. Left leg, let's go for those kicks out. And release. Take a breath here, and then we'll start with our right leg and just a little step up. So we'll try to 
encourage that knee up as high as possible. Feel free to grab onto the sides of the chair for this one. Right foot plants, left leg rises. Good. Plant your feet down. Feet come out nice and wide and windshield wipe the knees to the left and the right. We'll just do a nice little release here on those legs and on the hips. Coming back to center here, feet are planted, knees are bent, legs in 90 degree angle. Nice full breath here to lengthen. Let's come on down to fold as you exhale. So if the hands touch the ground, move in that direction. You can also relax them on the legs. And then again on this one, try to relax your head as best as you can. Easing up towards the navel. And release, it's come on up. We'll realign here. Let's try out some standing poses using our chair. So we'll just come on up to stand. Feel free to have your chair close by if you'd like so that you can use that if you need it for your balance at all. So let's try a crane pose to start. So left hand can grab onto your chair or a surface and we'll start with our right leg. So we'll lift our right leg up and we'll try for a 90 degree angle on this one. If it feels okay, we'll take our arms up into a T position and then find soft wrists, elbows, and shoulders. And this one is crane. We also call it Bali Kakasana. So anytime you're balancing, you want to find a drishti. You'll find one spot to focus your concentration, to focus your awareness. And once you find that spot, not letting the eye shift at all. We'll try that on the other side. So hands release, foot sets down. Feel free to grab that chair, send it to the other side, or take your body and shift it off to the left. Left leg rises when you're ready. Arms out into T. Soft for self and shoulders. Find your drishti. Now get really grounded in your right foot. So we'll try to press through the inside and the outside of your right foot. Notice your body's natural tendency, if you tend to roll in or tend to roll to the outside of your foot. We will release that one. So let's give a little shake out. We'll just shake out our wrists and shake out our legs of any tension here. Take your hands up and overhead. Fingers will interlock, palms will press up, full breath here to lengthen. And let's do a shift to the right and the left. We'll just do a little bit of a Wiggle here in the waist side to side. And pausing, hands to the right. Feel your left hip pressing to the left. Back to center, lengthen here and release to the left. So maybe imagine that there was this big beach ball that you were trying to reach and stretch over. Really get that nice lateral stretch for your spine. You can come back to center, we'll realign. Hands relax behind your body. Coming into yoga mudra from here. So for this one, fingers will interlock, palms touch, or try to square your wrists off. Imagine that you could squeeze a pencil between the shoulder blades. Full breath to lengthen. Let's come on down to fold and exhale. And try to relax the fronts of the shoulders. Just noticing if that helps you move a little bit deeper into that shoulder stretch. Good. 
and release. Let's take our hands onto our low back. Hands can relax down towards the ground and we're just gonna flow on up through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Begin to take your shoulders up, back and down. Work with tree pose here. So for tree, this is where we bring the sole of our foot to the inside of the leg. So if you have shoes on, you probably don't wanna press them against your leg there. So if it's easy just to kick your shoe off, you could do it. The other option is just to allow for your foot to hover a little bit. So you can have your right foot. We're going to start with our foot either low or you can bring it up a bit higher if that feels comfy in your body. Again, you have your chair there if you need it. Your hands come up and overhead. Maybe take your palms to touch. Little shoulder stretch as well. This one's called tree pose, also called rikshasana. So on this one, take your right knee and try to gently roll it back. So that will really help to open up your hips, give you that nice inner leg stretch. And then it's great for your low back as well. And we'll release, hands come down. We'll do a reset on our right foot. And when you're ready, left leg rises up again. Chair, shift it to the other side if you need to. So on this one, another important alignment cue is imagine that your hips were even. So when we lift this left leg up, sometimes what's natural for the hip to kind of rise and lift up. So roll it down slightly. Try to even off your low back, even off through your hips. And let's come on out of that one. So we'll do a release on our arms and reset on our feet. So take your feet a little wider than your hips. We're going to take our arms out in front. So let's take our left arm on top, right arm on the bottom. We'll sweep them out to the sides and then right on top, left on the bottom, left on top, right on top. And we're just gonna alternate here. And as you do this, feel free to let the arms slap on the body a little bit. It's almost like you can give yourself a bit of a massage. Good, we'll release that one. Let's take our hands up and overhead. Nice full breath here. Right hand for your left wrist. So you'll just grab on there and then take your left foot behind your right. So we'll have our legs crossed. Hands to the right when you're ready for a side stretch. Try to ground evenly through both of your feet inside and outside of each foot. Come back to center, let's realign, change up the grip in the hands and release to the other side. Now on this one, almost create a little sensation like that left hand could pull your right hand to the left side of the room just a little bit more. And we'll release and we'll do a reset on our hands and our feet. And then let's try that off to the left to start. So we'll take our left hand, reach for your right wrist, and then changing up those legs this time. So we'll take our right foot to the left, crossing the leg, releasing to the left. And just breathing very deeply here. Almost imagine that you could create space in between the ribs. So you wanna inhale deeply and then exhale deeply. Center, readjust the hands, release to the right. Good, let's come back to center. We'll do a reset on our hands, reset on our feet and take the shoulders up, back and down. Take your feet in line with your hips. We'll have a little bit of a space between the feet and feet will be nice and straight. So make sure they're not turning in or out too much. Nice alignment for your knees. Let's come into a variation of chair pose, Utkatasana. So we'll imagine that there is a chair behind us and we wanna sit back into it. So we have a nice deep bend in our knees. Weight back into your heels, toes are light. And then almost create the sensation like your toes could lift from the ground. Try to feel your spine lengthen here. If you wanted more challenge, let's bend deeper into the knees. 
Let's hold it for another breath or two. So get a little lower if that works for you. If you look down, make sure that you can see the tips of your toes. So we just don't want our knees to come too far forward on this one. Let's bring it down into a forward fold. Hands touch the ground or maybe hands onto your legs and shake out the legs a little bit here. So we'll bend one knee and the other knee and relax your head yes and relax your head no. Let's begin to roll ourselves through the spine. We're going to come on up. We'll flow on up one vertebrae at a time. Find a nice deep shoulder roll. Inhale and exhale. Great, let's take a moment to work with our chair. So what we'll do on this one is we'll want to be able to access the seat. So take that opportunity to square yourself to your chair. We'll take our hands to the sky, breathe in. Come on down to fold, breathe out. Now, as you have your hands on the chair here, let's shake out those legs. So nice deep bend in one knee and the other knee. And relax your head, yes, and relax your head, no. And then as you come into stillness here, hands to the right. So we'll work with a side stretch. Try to ground evenly through both of your feet, inside and outside of each foot. And then we're going to bring ourselves back to center and release to the other side. And reaching and stretching through the waist, lengthen through the side body, through the arm, and through the fingertips. Coming back up through to center, bend into the knees if you need to, lower your stomach down. Let's lift up through the heart. Tailbone will lower and crowning the head will lower and flow through a cat and a dog stretch for a moment lengthen your spine as you inhale lengthen your spine as you exhale as you inhale let your shoulders relax from your ears so create a little space between the ears and the shoulders feel the shoulder blades moving down your back and on the exhale, really rounding your back body. So imagining creating space between the shoulder blades. Coming into a neutral spine here, let's take a nice deep bend in our left knee. Left hand plants, right hand rises on the exhale. We'll take a twist. And then as you're twisting here on the in breath, feel your spine lengthen. On the out breath, allow for the twist to deepen and then right hand relaxes down right knee bends right hand plans left hand rises when you're ready as you're twisting here see if you can create a little sensation of stacking and opening the shoulder so we'll feel our shoulders in line wrists in line one long line fingertips to fingertips and release let's put ourselves back on through the center we will lower the stomach down let's lift up through the heart space a little bit of a round of the spine we'll come up to stand inhale hands on heart exhale let's take a nice full breath in reach and stretch your hands to the sky take your hands at the heart as you exhale we'll take a moment here to close the eyes take a moment to thank yourself for practicing chair yoga today for doing something so good for your mind and your body the light within me honors the light within you namaste namaste everyone thank you so much for joining today it's great to get a little chair yoga in today i hope that you're all feeling better and i look forward to our next class together so take care and we'll see you soon bye Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. You're welcome. Thank you. You as well.